Welcome to the 2017-18 pre-season pre briefing. It's that time of year when we need to get ready. October could see us in the midst of a fire season, so it's time to be ready. And as Chief Officer, I have seven key points that I would like everybody in our organisation to be thinking about going into this summer. So the first one for me is be ready. At every level in the organisation, from firefighter to captain to group officer, with the ops managers, right through to chief officer, executives of the organisation, we need to make sure that we are absolutely ready to go. So that is your burnover drills, that is your, your hazardous tree awareness package, everything that we can to make sure that we're ready and to go for this summer. Number two for me is take care of yourself. And in taking care of yourself, it's also about taking care of those underneath you. It's about hydration, it's about keeping out of the heat, it's about taking the breaks when you can. Make sure that you look after the most important person there is, and that is, in my case, me, and in your case, obviously, it's you. Number three for me is connecting with communities, before, during, and after an event. It's a real key point for us, and it's something that we really do well, and I, I really challenge you to do more of it. So make sure that we're communicating as much as we can to make sure our communities are well aware of what's going on and able to be uh, resilient um, as far as fires and emergencies are concerned. Number four for me is tell those that need to know and communicate well. So let's communicate, whether that's up and down the chain with your operational, whether that's across a number of different agencies, whether that's in through um, uh, different government departments, whether it's across groups or brigades, communication is the lifeline of, our, of, uh, of running any operational incident about connecting in with communities, about saving lives. Communication is a key for us. Number five, do what you can where you are with what you've got. So that means hitting fires hard and hitting them fast with whatever you have. So even if you've got a limited resources, be as agile and effective as you can to make sure that we're doing the best possible uh, role in extinguishing that fire and indeed communicating with our communities. Number six, number six is about values. Demonstrate our values with everything we do, particularly given what's occurred in the last 12 months. Now is the time to put safety first. The safety of our people is the most important thing and everybody's ability to come home is absolutely essential. Respect each other at every level, not just at fires. For wherever you're on station, whether you're staff, whether you're volunteers, whether you're management, whether you're captain, group officer, during a summer season, everything else is forgotten. Now is the time to show respect and act with integrity. It's about demonstrating to the public that we are a professional, dedicated organisation that we are. We work as one, we're adaptive, we're agile. When we say we work as one, that's not just about CFA, that's about SES, that's about DELP, that's about MFB, that's about government departments. We cannot do it on our own as an agency. And finally, number seven, everybody is responsible for safety. Safety is the key. And again, I've said it a couple of times, everybody comes home. Speak up, tell people about the issues you see around you. If you see fire coming, if you see something unusual, red flag warnings, anchor spots, make sure you're aware of all the safety issues that are associated for this summer period. In summary, working with communities is, is important for us. And we need to make sure that we work collaboratively across the sector. In other words, we all work together with, with all our different partner agencies and the like. Um, and leaders, my expectation is our seven key points are followed by every leader. Again, if you're captain, make sure your teams are ready. Make sure that you can work across all the agencies. Make sure safety respect is all there. Whether you're group officer, ops officer, whether you're working in the community, look and prevent, uh, present professionally. Now is the time for those seven key points to be uh, looked at and discussed and talked about um, uh, leading into this summer. Every CA, CFA member has a role to play. It doesn't matter whether you're in the stores and you're preparing stuff, you're delivering water, whether you're at the end of a hose, where you're standing on the soapbox talking to a community, everybody has a role to prevent fires, to protect life, to save property. That is the role that we have to do. We work together as one organisation and we work together as a multitude of organisation as one uh, team, making sure that Victorians are safe this summer and property is saved this summer. Good luck to you all. Make sure we do our preparedness work and I thank you for what you do. Have a good day.